gosh, what an absolutely That's massive really play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Hopefully you guys had a great day yesterday. Hopefully it was better than the results of our games yesterday. Uh, we were in third in the US yesterday, um, but we had such a fat point buffer, it was like 50 or something points, that even with um, yesterday's video, we're still in third. In fact, this, this video or this series has kind of become fight for staying in third for forever instead of fight for first. But um, Second is at 1809, I think. First is just ahead of there. So definitely within striking-ish distance if we pick up some wins here today. Yesterday, you guys crushed the like goal. A thousand likes in a video before they shoot the next one. And I'll do the number one liked comment in that video. You guys had about 1,200 likes. Just shy. Just shy. But that's plenty. That's enough. We scroll down. Uh, my man, well, <laughs> this this child here, he says, uh, kid 21 says... If you lose a battle, you must watch the whole B movie in the next vid. Um, I cannot for the life of me understand why this is a challenge, uh, let alone the fact that 200 of you agreed with this. I don't understand. I, I have watched B movie before and I would really, really like to never have to do that again. So we're gonna pick up two wins today and I'm going to pretend um, the kid will never comment on any of my videos ever again. Guys, yesterday I brought up this thing, um, this this chill thing that's been happening on the comment section. And of course, after I brought it up, it just exacerbated the problem. And now it's like a hundred times chillier in my comments section. Um, there's just so much chill going around. I mean, there are words in here that don't even make sense. That's an 1832. Um, such as abso chill. What is abso chill? What is that? I don't I don't know 1832 here um, From Japan, so this is gonna be some nice points. We can pick this up guys I made a couple changes Bulu came back because we've lost every single time we've used Bulu Every single time this thing is utter trash. In fact, it was so bad I forgot we had used it before as well as somebody else who watches the series had forgot everyone forgot we had used it We're gonna make it work Am I bringing it? I'm not gonna bring it here though, so sorry, Bulu. Um, and then I put Tri Attack on to Discharge on Porygon, Sword Dance on Mimikyu, and all overall, we're just gonna have a blast with this team, hopefully, because we're gonna win so we don't watch B movie. We're gonna win so we don't watch B movie. Please, please, please. Um, uh, so, 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 my Tapu Koko is a huge threat to him, so he's gonna have to lead something that's not uh, ready to stop Tapu Koko. How, Zerkatry is how fast? I like low-key want to go Gyarados and just start boosting because I feel like he's going to leave Mamoswine. Like, I definitely feel like he's going to leave Mamoswine. And if he does that, that should be fine. Um, do I do this in the Mimikyu? Oh, God. Mimikyu and... I went ditto! I went ditto. I went ditto. I don't know how fast Zerkatry is, but I'm, I'm, I'm banking on the fact that plus one Gyarados. Zerk who's naturally faster? Jesus. Zerkatry is two speed faster if it's modest. But I'm, I don't know, John. But I'm trying. Okay, as long as it's not plus speed nature, we should outspeed it at plus one in case he's Scarf. I'm pretty sure plus one Earthquake's gonna get, it's gonna get, oh no. Oh yeah, because Mega Gyarados doesn't get any extra speed. Why did they do that? Um, this is an amazing lead. I led so well, unless he's running Will-O-Wisp or Thunder Wave or something, and that's, that's not standard. So if this is a standard Mimikyu, we are in the money. Or unless it's plus natured Scarf Zerkatry. Um, I'm gonna bank on none of that being the case, and I'm just gonna sit in here and DD. Uh, it is Will-O-Wisp. What a douche. Who does that? That's so lame. That's like really lame. Well, I don't have to waste my time breaking the disguise. So I'm going to sit here with a burn Gyarados and I'm going to calculate when I can kill this thing. And I'm going to dance until that, that time. Um, plus two. Plus three. 
You're telling me I have to wait till plus four to get a KO if I'm burned? That sucks. Dancing. We are a dancing. Okay, withdraw what into cloister? Oh, that's interesting. Um, now that burn does way less damage. Like I'm not as pressed. He's probably gonna leech seed me. Uh, let me see. He's probably gonna leech seed me. Now we've seen two of his Pokemon. And Tapu Coco would have been real nice. Um, I'm not phased though. I'm going to keep dancing because then he'll leech seed and then he'll protect. And then we need to be plus four to two shot that thing anyway. Yep, there's the leech seed. Well, could have been nice if that had missed. Gyarados was seeded. Does he protect this turn? God, this is starting to do a lot of damage. Don't worry, Gyarados, you'll do something soon. After you keep dancing. <laughs> He's gonna protect eventually. He'll probably protect the turn after I hit him once. So I'm gonna hit him, then I'll dance again, and then I'll hit him again. And that should be enough to get him. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm regular Gyarados. Actually, if I'm not Mega, how much weaker am I? Substantially. Um... Like, I have a feeling he can't hit me like this, though. So I, like, low-key just want to hit him so I don't take the Earthquake damage. Yeah, I do. Let's see how much this does. Come on, give me the flinch. God, that was strong. Yep. So, so, let's be real. Does he protect now? Does he have protect? God, I'm taking a lot of damage though. I could probably trade one for one here, which is not honestly too bad considering I got burned. Does he protect now? I think he does. I think you do. I think you protect. <laughs> Oh, it feels good. Oh man, it feels good. So his only attacking move is Earthquake, which is kind of really sketch for a Celesteela. I don't know, man. Like it's cool for against Magnezone and shit, but like, mm, mm, I mean like, okay, you take you take a hit from Tapu Koko. If it's not Life Orb, and you can probably hit it back pretty bad. Um, but with that fifth one and now going Mega, I should have the damage I need in order to KO this thing. Unless he goes for a double protect and he lands it, which would really, really, really honestly not be cool. So don't do that. Well, Gyarados, you've danced five times. You've danced a life of dancing. Oh, you've lived the life of... Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. Kill this thing, please. You are plus five. You are plus five. Yes, he went for the double. Suck this. Gyarados D. Okay, we got one thing down. We traded one for one. That's a lot better than that could have been. Let's be real. And what does he come in and Shadow Sneak me for the KO? I mean, Shadow Sneak should still get me, which is a shame. Um, or this is going to have Protect. While we have time, though, Zergatry into Mimikyu, because I don't forget, I also have my own Mimikyu still. Um, wait, why is Zerkatry taking this so well? Is Zerkatry of that big of a defense? Wait, what's going on? Mimikyu, why are you doing nothing? I mean, I could Earthquake, but there's really no point. I should just Waterfall, maybe get a... I mean, he'll Protect. He's got Protect, and he's gonna Protect. Oh! <gasps> Focus Sash then? Oh my gosh. Tail Glow. Oh my god, I'm about to copy that, aren't I? Oh man, that flinch would have been great. Um, there's Leech Seed. I'm down. How much is it healing? 
I've never used the Zerka tree before. Should we do it? I mean, like, I've never done it. I could go Mimic you and just Shadow Sneak. Does Zerka tree get anything that's... Priority. Like, that's what I need to know. I don't think so. I doubt it. Uh, Thunder Wave, Shock Wave, Ingrain, Thunder Punch, Eerie, Hypnosis. Ugh. Solar Beam, Thunder, Thunderbolt, turn, charge beam. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Thanks for the plus three, bro. You the man, you the man. Cause I am scarfed and he is not scarfed. And so this is our plus three. I've never used one of these things before. This is so cool. <gasps> I wonder what hidden power it is. I'm not gonna find out. Um, T-Bolt. I mean, it should pick it up unless it's got some weird ability. No, it's gotta be Beast Boost, right? Aren't they all Beast Boost? That's Beast Boost. Thunderbolt versus another. It's already, the regular Thunderbolt is 50%. Yeah. Yeah, take this. <laughs> and I feel comfortable doing this for a couple reasons instead of sending out the Mimikyu. Um, mostly that my Mimikyu still has its disguise up. We're gonna get a beast boost, but his Mimikyu is gonna have to deal with this thing right now. And we should be faster than the Mimikyu. We should be faster and we should be able to break the disguise and I still have my Z, my Z move on my Mimikyu in the back. Um, so this is, for an 1832, okay, I think that locks this game down. Um, cause even if he KOs me, he'll have to use his Z move right now. That shouldn't do it, right? I'm outside of the sneak range. Oh my god. This is what it's like to die to your own Pokemon. I mean, like, he's literally staring his own plus, well, four now. Of soon to be plus five. We're gonna have two Pokemon that went plus five in this episode, huh? We're absolutely about to have two Pokemon that just went plus five. No! No! My plus five Zerkatry! I mean, your plus five Zerkatry that I was under control of. No! Woo! Guys, it was looking bad there for a second. We got that fifth Dragon Dance in. He couldn't protect. Um, I don't know why he didn't Shadow Sneak. Oh, Shadow Sneak. Oh, that's if it's burned. Oh, um, how much HP did I have left? It's actually really close. It's actually really close depending on how much HP I have left. Um, I think he can get me. Well, it depends on how much, how many EVs and HP I have, but it's, uh, it probably seemed too close for him to handle. So we wanted to get the boost. Have me KO to uh, Leech Seed, not lose a Mimikyu, and then try to win from there, but... That's my Mimikyu. I mean, that's my... Well, it is my Mimikyu, but that's also my Zerkatry! That's legitimately the first time I've ever used Zerkatry, but that was awesome. I like that thing a lot now. What a cool Pokemon. Uh, okay, so will o -Wisp Mimikyu there. Really scary. Because I can't imagine... Well, hold on. You think he's Swords Dance, Will O Wisp, Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and not Shadow Sneak? I don't know. That seems pretty questionable. But it could have been. 1830 something, right? That would have put, if we became his ranking, we'd be first in the US right now. Um, the Japanese, obviously, ranking system is a, a little bit different. They have a lot more people who play singles and stuff. And eventually we'll shoot for that. But um, for right now, we'll take those points and we'll enjoy them. And we're going to try to climb with this right here, 1582. Jesus, that's not gonna, that's just a big liability if we lose. And honestly, anything can happen in Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Does Mega Metagross get two shot? No, it's gonna have the, it's gonna have a thing. Uh, it's gonna have Bullet Punch. So if I bring Tapu Koko, I gotta be, I've gotta be careful. Yeah, 
I gotta be really careful, but I can do 47. What does Vault Switch do? A lot. Um, honestly, going Coco and vaulting into Porygon's almost a really good idea. The only problem is... Man, I wanna go Bulu. I can't go Bulu. Um, no, you know what? I should... Am I gonna regret this? Flip. Mimikyu, Tapu. If I go Porygon, we gotta get rid of the dragon. But if his, if we go Porygon, no, I can't go Porygon. I cannot go Porygon. I can't. And then if I go Gyarados, I have no way to stop his Tapu though. If I go Porygon, I have to stop. My Mimikyu has to stop his Aegislash. It has to, or we're done. We're done. We're gonna be so done. I just, I needed the Porygon for this Vault Switch because I know he's gonna bring this Metagross and I know I can beat it. Okay. I don't know what that thing does. I do have the play rough on it. Don't, okay, I've never flipping fought one of these and I don't really want to, especially not right now. Uh, Play Rough is gonna do a lot. He doesn't have a whole lot he can switch into it safely because anything else that he switches into, I can pretty much KO, so I am going to go for the attack right here. Because if he goes in Age Slash, I just pick it up with the claw. Like if he goes in with the uh, Hydreigon, it dies. If he goes in with the Metagross, then I pick it up with the claw. And this thing is the thing that's threatening my Porygon. Thank God that hit. Yes. Mm. Yes. We needed that so bad. Oh, thank God he did not swords dance like an idiot. Oh God, because it's tempting. And I'm sure that's what he thought I was going to do. Okay. He's got a Coco. Uh, my Porygon should be able to beat this thing. Do I save the Mimikyu? Do I save the Mimikyu? I think I do. Or do I just do the damage here? How much does Shadow Claw do? Why is it doing no damage? Oh, burned, not burned, healthy. Why is this doing no damage to Tapu Coco? All right, Porygon, I'm gonna need you. This is why I brought you, so I'm gonna use you for the same, like this is why I brought you. So if it doesn't work out, then my I already had an issue at the beginning of the game. It wasn't an issue right now. So I'm gonna go along with my original strategy here. Um, this is an attack boost though, right? Oh, it's a special attack. I forgot, Tapu gives you. Okay, he's gonna you. He just went to go break the, okay. So it's Life Orb. That's good to know. That's really good to know. If I had done the Shadow Claw, it would have been so clean. That being said though, he can't stop me right now. I think, uh, barring a critical hit, barring him getting some, cause we've still got the Focus Ash on our Tapu. Why does Mimikyu do no damage to Tapu Koko? Why is that? Tapu Coco's not even that big. What am I doing wrong? I don't know, I guess it's really only does 50%. <laughs> There's the Meteor. I should tank this. Okay, I can't take another one, but that's okay. Cause this should be enough damage. That's plenty of damage, that's plenty of damage. Cause Tapu Coco's gonna outspeed, yep. That's fine. Uh, it's gonna go down either way, uh, so not a big deal. Uh, let me make sure that it picks up Mega Metagross. My Tapu Coco before I send it out.
How much health is he at? How much health is he at? I mean, he's got to be running max speed, right? The speed, the speed stat on Metagross is one of the most important things you can have on it. I mean, this is for the sake of B-Movie. I, I do not want to watch B-Movie. I need to pick this up. He bullet punches for negligible damage. No reason to switch. I Thunderbolt. There's no reason to Vault Switch. He BPs. That's fine. I survive it. Pretty healthily. There's a T-Bolt. That's gonna be enough. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we still have the powered up move in the back. Tapu Coco into Tapu Coco. The only thing is I don't have my, the bullet punch is good for him because he got rid of my, my thing. He can go anywhere from 77 to 91 with his Thunderbolt. He's going to KO me. Well, Dazzling Gleam will KO. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Dazzle. Uh, hopefully, I win the speed tie. If I win the speed tie here, we win the game. If we don't, it's going to be close. Yes! 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 <laughs> it's one of the physical ones. That's so weird. It's so weird. I don't understand. I just don't understand. It's because they can run bulk up or whatever. No more electricity. Um, I don't know how much the, the boosted Shadow Claw was going to do. But we're not going to need to find out. And if he's Resto, then he can suck this Shadow Sneak. Huge D. Yes. Yes. No B movie. Quick story time. Back in uh, sophomore year of high school, we were in an art class. Mr. Carpenter, this big ass black guy. He was awesome. I loved him to death. Uh, it was like, hey, turn to your neighbor and talk about what you did during the weekend. I don't know why. Art class, you know. And so I, this hunt, this kid Hunter, I talked to him. I was like, uh, I went and saw a movie. My dad, well, with my dad. Um, my mom was out of town. And he's like, oh, what movie? And I was like, B movie. I didn't want to see B movie, okay? My dad made me see B movie. And then he laughed that we went to go see B movie after we watched it. And I was like, B movie. And he's like, B movie? And for the entire rest of the year, every time he saw me, he would do this. He'd go, Bzzz. My name's Alex Agloza, and I watched B-Movie. And I was like, fuck you, Hunter Morgan. And then he'd be like, I'm going to be a bee for Halloween. My mom's going to make my costume out of felt. And I was like, Hunter, you shut up, dude. I hate you so much. Hunter, if you ever watch this, I hate you still to this day. It was like eight years ago, and I still hate you. I do. I hate you. Anyway, guys. No B-movie for me. B-movie for all of you guys. If you want to watch it, I wouldn't recommend it. It was all right, by the way. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Guys, 1,000 likes on this video. I'll do the, the number one thumbs up comment in the comments section. Hopefully, it's not any more B-movie stuff. Um, other than that, guys, have a great day. Don't forget to chill. And let me check out what our score is. Boom. We're definitely, we definitely were in third. We're definitely probably still in third. 1775. One of these days, we'll fight for something other than third. But until that day, thanks for watching Fight for Third. See you guys next time. Feeling kind of strange, feeling kind of off. Don't know what's really going on. I feel like some.